Hi, uh, I'm Shravani. So welcome to my channel, and this is my first ever video on YouTube. Uh, to introduce myself again, I'm Shravani, and I'm based out of Bangalore. And I uh, recently I finished my uh, bachelor's in computer science in uh, 2022, and I'm currently working. And meanwhile, alongside, I'm also applying and planning for uh, studying masters in Germany. And when it comes to masters in Germany, the first ever requirement is about um, getting APS certificate. So uh, it is, uh, and I have also received my APS certificate last week, like last week. And I wanted to share with all of you the timeline, what is APS, why APS, and how I received it, and all the every on all the information. I hope you find this video. Uh, informative and helpful so coming to the basics like on introduction what is APS APS is nothing but uh, a joint institution between German embassies culture uh, cultural department and this exchange German exchange uh, academic exchange service that is DAD uh, you must be familiar about that where you can find all the information that you want about institutions in Germany and uh, uh, when it comes to the abbreviation of APS, it is basically called as uh, Akademische Prüfstelle. I'm still getting my German right. So coming to the translation part, it basically means Academic Evolution Center. So when we talk about why we require or why they require APS is basically to give this um, authenticity of our documents to basically uh, see if our documents are recognized in Germany or not and to also check if our documents is genuine or fake. So I basically prepared like a timeline like a chart I will tell you step by step what I did during the entire process until I received my uh, APS certificate. So on uh, 1st of November <clears throat> on 1st of November I paid 18,000 to the uh, embassy of german uh, of germany that is the ap to the aps center uh, all the bank details and all are clearly displayed in the website and i'll also show you the bank details and around and and on november 9th or something i on november 9th i got this activation mail that my account has been activated and they sent me the credentials uh, that included the username and password and hence i was able to log into the website and there even though i did my payment of 18000 it did show me as pending like this like the screenshot which i have displayed on the video and i was i was skeptical about what was happening and all so i did ask a lot of people and they said that it is common it is common to be displayed as pending and it only shows completed when uh, it when we when the verification is actually completed and when we actually get the certificate and then, uh, yeah, up, after that, when I uh, got the activation mail, after on uh, 20th, November 20th, I couriered my uh, documents according to the check checklist which they have provided. And um, I did uh, send them through Blue Dart. So Blue Dart gave me this uh, way number or something, some number on the bill uh, so that I can track my uh, courier, like the status of it. And then uh, within two days, like on uh, November 22nd, yeah, November 22nd, I uh, checked the status again and then it was said it was delivered with the, the person's name to which, to whom it was delivered. So that time I was like, okay, fine, something, something is progressing. And then since then it was this waiting time. And meanwhile, in between, uh, there comes a place where you have to mention your professor's email ID that has this university domain. So I did go to my college and talked about it with my professor and then I asked her consent to give, asked her consent if I can give her email ID. She was uh, uh, positive about it and then I gave her, I gave the professor's email ID. And since then, since the entire month, December, I kept joining so many various groups on WhatsApp, uh, seeing the discussion about what is actually happening about others' experiences and all. And I noticed that... Um, everybody is waiting and a few were a few were in the same timeline like how i was in like the date of applying getting activation mail sending courier and if we mail to the aps center we got this automated uh, reply saying that to be patient and all so i was i was 
uh, following what they sent on the mail and uh, meanwhile kept reading the chats the discussion that was happening on whatsapp groups and then i was also uh, uh, i had also yeah the most important thing is i had kept all my documents ready in digi locker yeah that's also a very important thing you can keep everything ready uh, on digi locker like uh, all your uh, degree certificates 11th 12th sorry 10th 11th and other important documents ready on in digi locker and uh, make sure that you remember the digi locker pin and one and every day i used to get this unknown calls and i had to receive it because thinking maybe someone would contact me from APS and then I did this for an entire month and around on on January 4th yeah on January 4th like any other day I was doing my work and then I get this unknown call I made sure I received it and as soon as I received it she said that she's from uh, APS uh, New Delhi calling from APS New Delhi and first she asked me to confirm my date of birth I confirmed my date of birth and uh, she asked me to give me give my uh, digi locker pin uh, before that, uh, she sent, uh, she logged into the digi locker using my phone number, and then I, I received an OTP, and I sent the OTP. It was verified, and then later she asked for digi locker pin. I did give her my digi locker pin, and then she said, "Okay, that's all," and then she ended the call. And then after like an hour or two, around four or something, I received the call at around one, and around four or something, I got an email saying that the verification is done, and I will receive my certificate soon within few hours but this but i didn't the same like i didn't on the same following on the, on the same day so again in the whatsapp group there was i asked like i question like i asked them and they said it's okay it's done it's verified i also got the purple uh, uh, tag on the in the website uh, saying that it's verified but uh, i didn't still receive my uh, certificate for that uh, for the people who already went through the same process they replied saying that i will be receiving it the next day and yeah the same happened the next day morning i received it with the i received the mail uh, from aps saying here is the certificate digital signature with all the digital signature certificate so apparently from uh, april 23 2023 uh, they started giving out this digital uh, certificates and not uh, couriering the original aps certificate to our addresses so hence then uh, it's all the digital certificates and they say the certificate is valid for three years and if you want to extend it or if you want to again um, get your AP certificate you can just directly contact them is what they state and then to verify if you've gotten the certificate right i will show you some uh, procedure and they have officially said to follow certain steps to open our uh, digital certificate using adobe acrobat Hence, uh, this is my uh, timeline and this is my uh, story behind getting the APS certificate finally. It, al it almost took me around two months, yeah, more than two months, like 60, 70 days around to get my digital uh, APS certificate. And uh, there are a lot of people I've heard haven't received it yet and have received it on the same day, on the, with the same uh, timeline as mine. And I hope uh, you also apply as soon as possible and uh, get your APS certificate as please do let me know if you have any doubts in the comments and uh, let me know how my first ever video that I did on YouTube was and I didn't know that I would do it on APS so please let me know your views or comments on the comment section and do like my video and uh, is it too soon to ask for you guys to subscribe I don't know it's up to you. So yeah, take care and have a nice day and all the best. Thank you.